Impending doom approaches. We don't got much time. Okay. Potions. Just, just grab them. Just grab them. The impending doom is upon us. I'm going up here. I'm gonna turn this on. The screen is gonna shake again. Come on. The music has stopped. All is dark, all is quiet. world shakes again. The Moon Lord has awoken and he is invisible behind the wall. Okay, I did not expect that. Um, let's get a good look at him. There it is! The Lord of the Moon! Contact with him for the most part does not hurt. And I'm dead. Final boss, everybody! Ay, 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 ay. Well, the good news is all of the lunar pillars have been conquered, which means I can use my pylons. Um, actually, before I go down here, you know what? Let me retrieve my ancient manipulator. Said, retrieve it. I am definitely gonna have a heck of a time with the Moon Lord. He killed me way faster than I thought he would. Alright, so let's see what all I can make here the Stardust Dragon Staff and the Stardust Cell Staff. Yeah, Terra Prism is better. Just, there's no way. Then we got the Phantasm and the Vortex Beater. And we got Daybreak. And the Solar Eruption. Interesting. You want the moon? Just grapple it and pull it down. Let's go ahead and make that for fun, shall we? And behold, that is the lunar hook. And if we take off the phase die, you'll see that each hook has the color of one of the pillars. Which is a really nice touch. I like it. And yeah, this thing has some really insane reach. So it's the best hook in the game, hands down. Now then. Let's start by fixing these. I just spent almost all of my money on that. Uh, but yeah. So that's that. Uh, let me sell the. Let me, let me sell some stuff to make some more space. Because I want to do take a look at um, some of these other items. Who needs a horde of minions when you have a giant dragon? You know, let's make that. I want to take a look at this dragon. Oh. Yeah, I kind of remember this one. It just summons a giant freaking dragon. And it's really cool, especially with the negative die. But again, I don't think it's going to be as good as this Terra Prisma. I'm, I'm going to keep it, though. I'm going to see if it is any better. And we get the Phantasm, which shoots a volley of arrows and it picks up in speed. Neat. Okay, that actually has like a extra type of weapon that it uses, or ammo. No, bullet, good lord. 
It, it shot a special projectile, and this is just ranged melee attack, which is pretty good, and the solar eruption. Yeah, not as wild about this one. I don't know. I'm not too. I'm not too crazy about a lot of these weapons at this point. If I was, if I was going ranged, this would actually be really good. And if I didn't have the Terra Prisma, this would be amazing. But right now, these are what I want. You know what? I <sighs> screw it. I want to. I want to see if I can get this to be mythical. Cause that is such a better upgrade. <sighs> I guess I'm not getting mythical then. Alright, I'm just gonna pop these in here for now. There's my fourth kind. There they are. As well as the weapons for them. I know I've got boxes designated for them, but whatever. I'm not too worried about it right now. So the main thing I need to do is I need to see if I... Well, okay then. Um, I need to see if I have the means. Do I have... Where's my armor cave fish? Okay, yeah, I've got plenty of cave fish. And I've got plenty of prismite. So I think I'm actually okay. Oh, and Evan Koi, of course. Do I have any Hemo Piranha? Yes, I do. Water. I know I'm gonna need blink roots. I know I'm gonna need moon glow. I'm probably gonna need day bloom. The only other thing I'm gonna need is death weed, so. It's a chance to they aren't blooming, but not much I can do about that. Okay. Weed. Took a few of those. Alright. Use up those. Use up those. What am I missing to make life force? The way this guy deals damage is actually pretty fascinating. Why did they fly over here? I wanted to go here. Because his DPS actually does have the potential to be better. Oh, I need Shiverthorn and Waterleaf. Of course. Why would it be anything else? Without further ado, I'm going to switch out my magic. Hmm. You know, I wonder... Is that the magic? 
strike chance. Hmm. I'm trying to think what would be best for dealing with the Moon Lord. I've already tried the spooky set, and that didn't pan out. I did get the Valhalla Knight's Breastplate, which might be really good, actually. Like, I'm thinking about maybe doing a weird combo set. You know what? I'm gonna try it! I'm gonna go in with the Spectre's Mask, the Valhalla Breastplate, and the dark art. That's not the right. That's not the right pants. There we go. Spooky legging. That'll give me an extra minion slot, which I'm going to be trying the Stardust Dragon out. With two Terra Prismas, because I forgot I didn't have the staff. <laughs> okay. So with that. Uh, the only other thing I need to do is I need to switch out a few things. Oh, 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 yes, okay. I do need potions. And HP potions. Okay, good. Put those away. And let's see here. I do need to... Get rid of this. I need my accessories. This is going to be important, so we'll take that off. I guess I'm just going in with the dragon, then. <laughs> That's fine. If I decide that he's not worth it, I'll switch back to the Terra Prismas. Yeah, this way I've got two magic... I've got one magic damage boosting accessory. I've got the Celestial Cuffs... The shell, I've got that for regen, these for some defense and health regen. I think I've got a good set here. The only other thing I could consider would be the mana cloak. Because that would reduce my mana usage. How big a deal is that going to be for me right now? If I'm careful and using my potions, not very. I'll give it a shot. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to blitz through the cultist and the pillars, and I guess I'll see you back at the uh, Moon Lord. Actually, no. First, I need to figure out if I can... I need to see if I can figure out what I missed with the cultist. I'm just going to drink a couple of potions for this one. Alright, so I'm going to try and kill him slowly, and let him do his thing. Because I'm starting to think that the problem was that I had to, um, I had to kill some summons of his. Like that! Okay, that was definitely one of them. That had to be. his doppelganger. You know, I'm just gonna let him summon whatever he's summoning. It's another dragon. Am I missing anything else still? Yes. But I have no idea what. I actually think I might have figured it out. Hello? Someone's a baby phantasmal. I had this turned off. Let's turn them on. I love him. I love him. I love him and he is mine. All right, so let's take a look-see. Okay, their locations are 100% random. Well, or at least 80% random. I'm pretty sure that they're appearing in the same spots, but the Vortex Pillar was not here before. It was here. 
The Vortex and the Stardust traded places. So, yeah. There is some random shenaniganry. And I'm gonna make some space. I do not need any more Ancient Manipulator. There we go. I never did put that stupid Legion workbench away. I really should have done that. Oh well, enough of that. Now it is time, once again, to face the pillars. So now I will meet you at the, at the Moon Lord. Mmm, death. Yeah, I think I should be using Terra Prisma for this. way worse ever since I switched. Like, noticeably worse. And that concerns me greatly. You know what? What the heck? Let's give it a try in full-on Spectre. Why not, right? Let's see how it goes. All right. Better magic damage. Worse defense. No regen. The ability to switch into healing mode, which will hurt my defense and health even more. Let's give it a shot! Yeah, this is way better. Dying burning hatred. <laughs> okay, finally beat the fourth pillar again. Lord, that took forever and a half. Okay. 
Let's make a few uh, super healing potions this time. Oh, neat. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Obviously going up into the sky there isn't going to help much. So I'm going to go this way. I am very scared. But I'm in my full mage set. Specter armor and everything. So if magic is the answer, I'll find out. Here we go, Moon Lord! Okay, so as I was trying to say before, the Moon Lord has three eyes. One on the center of his head, ignore the four empty white voids, and two on his hands, one on each hand. They each summon their own projectiles. That death ray is extremely dangerous, um, comparable probably to the um, Martian death ray, if I had to guess. And yeah, they've all got to be killed, and I'm dead. I don't feel even remotely close to handling this. But here's the thing. I can't upgrade my armor without beating him, which means I have... I've basically got the best means available to beat him. So, I don't know. The thing that really sucks is... Magic didn't seem to be the answer. At least not for, um... Not for the, uh, what's it called? Pillars. Summoning was about a hundred times easier. So I'm starting to think that what I should do... I should go back to using the Terra Prismas, you know, full-on summoning gear. I need to make more space. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put away a bunch of stuff that I don't need anymore. Because I am at the end of the game. I'm going to hold on to this for now. I'm not really using the rainbow gun anymore, so I'm going to put that away. That away, but that away, but that away. Actually, let's keep this back, the sticks. Okay. Ordinarily, right now, I would just. Oh, wait a minute. No, I don't want to. Okay, I don't want to use the Terra Prismas just yet. When the time comes to fight the pillars again, I will. But I need to fight the. I need. I need to fight the Dogon Cultist again, and I think I know what it is I'm missing. I'm pretty sure that one of the light balls that he summoned had a name. And if it has a name, then that means it's, um, that means that it has a, um, entry in the BC area. So once again, I'm gonna have to fight him slow and steady. Two Terra Prismas and going in with full on magic healer mode. My objective is simple. Don't die. Just get him down to where I see him summoning stuff. Alright, yeah, it's not the ice. This just summons the dragon. I don't need the dragon. But he wants the dragon. Alright, summon your lightning. Go ahead. It's not the purple thing, so it must be the blue light. <sighs> Ancient light. Yeah, that was it. Alright. Open bestiary. That wasn't it? What the heck, man? Wait a minute. I might be stupid. 
That slot's for the Moon Lord, isn't it? The Moon Lord counts as a dungeon enemy in this case because he links to the Lunatic Cultus. That's got to be it. That or it's these. Okay, well now I have to find out, so I need him to summon those again. I died, but I did kill an Ancient Doom. I'm still thinking it's the Moon Lord, though. It, it, it's gotta be the Moon Lord. Seems weird, though, that the Moon Lord would be after that. Okay, you know what? Let's just... No, it's not the Moon Lord. Moon Lord's 520. So... Wait, but then... This bothers me because it's the only thing I'm missing. Okay. I need to... I need to look this up. Be right back. Oh my lord. It... I'll just say right now, I would never have guessed. I would never have guessed that it is what it is, because it's something I thought that I already did. It's an... It's a, it is an enemy that it's... That the cultist summons, that c it can only summon if I attack one of the doppelgangers of the cultists... I'm just going this way to get some gold I'm missing. Um, while a dragon is up. Because why would it be anything else, you know? Who needs logic? This is Terraria. Good lord. I as well put my gold away. Alright. I am going to get this. I'm going to get this enemy that I'm missing. And then there's going to be Moon Lord death. And I should say that I could make that Celestial Sigil using the Lunar Fragments. And he isn't summoned again yet. Okay, well, uh, you know, I actually do need to step away for a minute anyway, so I'm just going to go away from the dungeon. All the way over here. And I'll be right back while the timer ticks down. Oh. 